Well, hell, hell, hey, guys, it's Demon, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Social Scorpion's Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom. So, yeah, I haven't recorded this for, like, a week or so, so, yeah. Anyways, last episode, we did more of Downtown Bikini Bottom. This episode, we're going to be continuing it. So, let's actually switch to SpongeBob, because, as you see, we need SpongeBob to drop down the button. And I am very happy I'm back to recording this. It's been a week, because basketball season has started, all that jazz and stuff, so... It's kind of hard for me to, uh... Like, record and stuff. I can only record on the weekends. Anyways, if you go over here, you get a sock. Luckily, I didn't record the other part right after that. So, I actually remembered to get where, to, where that sock was. Because if I didn't uh, record, like, right after whatever... Like, if I recorded right after the last episode, then I would have never known. And I should have at least got that thing unlocked, because that would have saved a lot of backtracking. So, anyways, let's go to the lighthouse. Next area of downtown Bikini Bomb. Actually, the last main area. Not the last main area, but the last area of the actual downtown Bikini Bomb. So... Are you ready, kids? Set, go! So in this, you have just have to uh, read a challenge. You have to destroy all the robots. That's really it. Like, that one is not really that hard. And sorry if I sound weird. My nose is kind of weird right now. But whatever. So, yeah. Really, the only thing you have to do is just hit these robots here. And that's just it. Let's hit everything. Hit the robots. And wait for these things to fall down like little puzzle pieces. And you might be, hearing, be able to hear the vibrating of my controller. I mean, God. It's, like, really vibrating right now. I mean, no, like, sexual joke uh, intended there, but... Was that the last robot? Yes, it was, okay. It says one, though, they think it's all, it's gonna be a little hard, because the thing is on a little platform, but... I'd probably say, get the Duplicatotron first, well, no, dog, get that first, because if you don't get the Duplicatotron, then you're not gonna be able to, uh, kill all the things. And yeah, there are, like, multiple floors here. I forgot how many floors there are here, but there are multiple floors. Like, as you see right now, we're on, like, a fourth floor, I think. Last one? Yes, it is. Now, this is the last floor. You see there's a gold spatula in there, but we can't really get into the gold spatula right now because there's an electric gate. Yeah, if there's an electric gate, you probably can't get through stuff. Yeah, that's simple video game logic right there. And don't forget, there's actually two. Count them, two of these things. So you have to kill both of them. Yeah. Yeah, kill it. Yeah. Oh, I'm on a land. Oh, whoa, that was weird. I don't even know how I killed that guy. Did, did Wait, did he throw a missile and hurt him? Wait. Okay, let's kill this little babe. I almost call him a different word. Okay, so anyways, you see there's a golden spatula in one of these things right over here. So I'm just going to first get the golden spatula. So, yeah, this is if you didn't know this already, this is kind of like the second arena chaplain. Wait, did we have a... Oh yeah, this is the second arena challenge, something like that. So that's really easy. Just get this little... Uh, Oh my god, I can't believe I couldn't think it was an underwear. So yeah, and also another steering wheel here. So we have 9 out of 11, that's good. We only need 2 more, and I know where those 2 are. But anyways, now, if you want to get a sock, you want to hit this, and now little trampolines will pop up here. Just need to trampoline all the way up to get a sock right there. It's not really that hard, but this one's not really out of the way. You can kind of find it easily. Just uh, try to look for where the, where the trampoline is. It's not really that hard. Just jump until you find where the trampoline is. And if you don't, if you miss it, well, sorry, you can get it again. And 20 socks. Awesome. I can't believe we have 20 socks already. You can get two golden spatulas from it. And or we only have uh, 60 more socks to get. But whatever. So uh, now we're going to be down to this area again. Back where Bubble Buddy is, you'll have to open this door from the inside. No duh. Why did I read that text? I don't know. So anyways, we're back down here. So you may be wondering, what else is there to do? There's like three golden spatulas we can get. There's two more of those uh, steering wheel things. What do we need to do? Well, there's one more area we can go in downtown Bikini Bottom. And that last area is over here, which we need 2,100 shiny objects. Before I do this, I just want to kill this guy because my OCD is overreacting. I really don't have OCD, I'm just saying. Like, an OCD part of me is coming out, and I really want to get that rid of that. So, let's, just pay, let's pay 2,100 shiny objects to go through to the next, last area of uh, downtown Bikini Bottom. The Sea Needle. Yeah. So, this is probably... I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but... Actually, you can only get one of the two golden spatulas that are here. There are two golden spatulas. Sorry, I hit my mic. So, anyways, the Sea Needle. But, uh... Yeah, like I was saying... You, you can't get one of the, you cannot get one of the golden spatulas right now because you need a certain move to get it. So yeah, that's this is the only area in the game you have to go back to get the golden spatula later in the game. Why is SpongeBob sitting down? Okay, so basically Pat, Pat yeah, that's totally Patrick right there. I, yeah, that's totally Patrick. Yeah, so Mr. Krabs is saying basically you need to kill all these tiki's. So 
They might be wondering, where are the tiki's? There's nothing tiki's around here. But actually, we have to do this bungee jumping thing and kill all the tiki's here. Now, this could be very time timely and tedious at times. You see, to uh, hit all these things. This, Like I said, this could be very hard at times. You just want to uh, aim correctly. Yeah. If you get the little floating thing down, then you'll be perfectly fine. Like, let's see. Oh, yeah. Only with the three things. Let's see. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, for some reason, he's making you kill all the tiki's. And then, it, if you kill all the tiki's, then you'll get a golden spatula. That's really plain and simple right there. Why did I say plain and simple? Yeah, that's the same thing I said in the Mario Party 7 vid I just made today for... Oh! Oh! God! That was close. If you fall off, you have to get all the tiki's again. I was so lucky there. That was so lucky. Anyways, 10 out of the 11. Let's just pound this in. So we can actually open this door so we can go back in there. So now let's actually go to N, the third... Not third, the second out of three of the little bungee cord things. So, yeah. Like I said, well, I mean, like I just said, I did rec record a... Uh, I recorded a Mario Party 7 vid for El Piers World, like, uh, earlier today. And I also try not to hit the Thunder Tiki's. It might be kind of hard to not hit the Thunder Tiki's, but... Just, uh, keep that in mind. There are Thunder Tiki's here. Thunder Tiki's equal ouch, and I'm pretty sure you don't want Thunder Tiki's, so... Yeah, overall, well, just... Be Wait, can I get these things right here? Oh, yeah, I can still get the single ones. I really don't care. So, yeah, we got that one done. Now, let's go over this area... This area can be a big pain. You gotta be very careful here that you don't get hit by this, uh, by these things. Here, come on! Oh yeah, oh yeah. You gotta be very careful to not get hit by that guy. It's kind of, it's very hard to not get hit by him, but whatever. So anyways, coming in here, just kill this one guy right here, and we got our 11th out of 11. You've collected all the steering wheels. Return to Mrs. Puff for your reward. Awesome. So we have collected, collected all 11 out of 11 steering wheels. So after this, we can go and get our other golden spatula here. So anyways, the last area we have to go here. This, I believe, is the one with the most tiki's, I think. I'm not so sure. Well, it's the last one you go to, so I'm pretty sure it has the most tiki's. Yeah, it's like the only logical thing you can think of. That last one you do, the most tiki's you have. Yeah. Okay, see, if you hit the thunder tiki, that'll happen. And luckily, I hit another thunder tiki and nothing happened. Yay. That is very happy. How am I supposed to hit that single one? That's gonna be- that's- this is- this single one's gonna be a pain to get. Or maybe not, maybe I'll get the first try after I say it's a pain. So, okay, see if I can only get this little- or I can just go for this one, which I failed at getting anyways, so yeah. Now this is the one where it can really be tedious, and you miss by like a centimeter, and you can hit it, and it says you don't hit it, so yeah. Okay, thank you for hitting the thunder part of that, so we can get that to blow up. And now, come on, just one- one more set. I hate others. There's also a stone tiki on top of that, so if you hit the stone tiki, you're just going to not hit it, and yeah! Awesome. So, after you get all of them, you should have heard, like, a ding sound. So, after you hit them, I believe you want to go, I mean, you want to go back to Mr. Krabs through whatever door you're at, and golden spatula number 17, 16, 17, yep, 17, yeah. If you, if you remember, we actually needed only 15 golden spatulas to get back to get to uh, the first boss of the game. Well, we have 17 right now. What time are we on recording? 8 minutes. Okay. So, as you see, there is a golden spatula right here. Come back with the cruise bubble. You cannot do this until you get the cruise bubble, which is actually after the second main boss of this game. So, yeah, we can't get we can't 100% downtown bikini bottom yet. So, let's just go back to end of the road and actually give those steering wheels to Mrs. Puff and get another shine golden spatula, not shiny object. Okay, so back here, just, let's just give those uh, little steering wheels to Mrs. Puff and 18th Golden Spatula. Awesome. So yeah, I believe that's it for Downtown Bikini Bottom for now. Yep, it is. We have yes, everything we can get, just not the... We just, we don't have the socks yet, but I'll get those at a later time. So let's go back to Bikini Bottom since... Well, I pre tried pressing R. Let's just go back to Bikini Bottom since we have everything here that we can get. Well... I'll just get the socks maybe later, I don't know, but anyways, now, after this little loading screen of the bubbles and stuff, we're back in, almost said we're back in downtown Bikini Bottom, right back in Bikini Bottom, so, uh, you know, I could do two things, I could actually trade golden spatch, I mean, shiny objects in for golden spatulas, and trade socks for golden spatulas, but I really want to wait till that to the end of the game, like I've said earlier in this LP, because I like doing that at the end of the game, like, do it, like, trading them in all at once, 
Yeah, it just makes it easier so you know how many I have in total. So yeah. So in the next episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we are going to be going into Goo Lagoon. Get our tan on. Let's unlock this with our 18 gold spatulas, even though we only need 10. Excuse me for that. I mean, excuse me for the burp, not excuse me for that oh, mistake thing. So anyways, this has been Demon Demon Razor Blade. Thanks, see you later and goodbye. See you later, bye.